What is up guys? It is your boy NC07 here. Welcome to another pickups video. This is going to be for July and August. Apologies if this video is coming out a bit later than I would have liked it to come out. It's just because I wanted to look good for the cameras for you guys. So let's get right into it. Starting off with a digital game. I've got plenty of digital games, especially for July. So I'll just have pictures on the screen to show the game but the first game I got was Rainbow Billy Curse of the Leviathan on Xbox this is a game that Jet Jason Buttholes recommended to me um I still have to play a good chunk of the game I've only played like an hour of it but I do really like the style it definitely reminds me of Paper Mario a lot especially with like the visuals and then the battle system you're basically trying to help people's problems it's an interesting game but I need to get back into it and like really sink my teeth into it so I, it's on my bucket list and then i got two beat em up games that i did already have on playstation 4 but i got them now on the nintendo switch so i'm gonna just get to those it's some really good ones too and ones that i heavily recommend the first one being castle crashers remastered uh castle crashers is very very popular that game is really really fun um love the style and love the music um, loved it on PS4, and I was like, I'll get it on Switch, because I think it was on discount at that time. Or actually, yeah, it was that, and then the other one, which is another beta up game that's really, really good. That being Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, The Game. This is another game. This was the one that was on d discount. Now, I think I had, like, some leftover eShop money, so I was just like, sure, I'll get it. And Scott Pilgrim vs. The World of the Game is a really fun game. There's not really much for me to say about it. If you played it before, it's really, really fun, albeit really hard. But I don't really have anyone else to play it with, so there is that. But those are still some really good beat-em-up games. If you haven't played them, check them out. And I think Castle Crashers has a demo, too, so yeah. <laughs> then moving on to the first physical game of the video, I've got Pikmin 4. And I already made a video about the Pikmin games and I, like I played all Pikmin games in 2023, which funny enough, that video is now outdated because now like they made like that new Pikmin finder game for like browsers, which great. It just, just make my video outdated just like that. It's not a big deal though. It, it, it's fine. But like, but like keep in mind, I did already make a video on the Pikmin series, so I'm not going to really talk too much about this game, but I will say definitely my favorite of the series. Love the visuals of this game. And I love the gameplay as well. Um, I don't really have much else to say. Play the demo. Please, please get this game. Please make it sell well so we can get a Pikmin 5 in the near future. That would be really, really nice. Then for another digital game, I another game that I had on previous systems, but I got Monkey Ball, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania on Xbox. I just got it on there because I think it may have been on deal. And I was like, oh, I'll get it. I had some leftover Microsoft's money. So I just decided to get on there. Good game. Really good game. Um, then I finally got some games for my Vita. So I thought for the longest time this thing didn't work, but... Lo and behold, I was able to finally get it to turn back on. So I got some games on here. So the first thing I got was the Sly Cooper collection on Vita, which is basically Sly Cooper 1 through 3, because um, me and Jackson, if you don't know, on Jason Butthole's channel, which you should check out, I'll leave a link in the description if I remember, um, we did an actual playthrough of the first Sly Cooper game, um, and I actually did play through it all the way on here, um, and that was a really good time, but I still need to play, um, Sly 3, and Sly 2 I've only played, like, the beginning of. I'll try and get back to Sly 2 at some point, um, but these are really good games, and the collection on Vita is actually not too bad. Um, definitely recommend trying these games out. The thing is, though, you're gonna need an older system, like, either a Vita or a PS3, so... It might be a little bit more difficult because I don't think these games are on PS4, which is weird, but that wasn't the only game I got. I also got Super Stardust Delta, which is basically like a twin stick shooter. Um, I've not played that many twin stick shooters in my time, but this game is so much fun and I'm going to be doing a video about this in the future. So stay tuned for that. 
But yeah, Superstar to Delta, lots and lots of fun. Definitely, it's not a long game by any means. You can beat the game in like an hour, but it's such a love, fun game to just sit down and play. It's the kind of game you play over and over and over. Uh, the trophy list is actually not too bad, uh, but I don't have the DLC though, and I think the DLC is probably going to actually be pretty difficult, but... Superstar to Delta, if you have a Vita, go for it. This game is actually really worth it. And then that was it for July. So now moving to August, um, the first game I got was this Super Stardust Delta successor, Super Stardust Ultra on PlayStation 4. This one I did not like quite as much. There's things, like, I felt like Ultra was kind of a step back. Like, yeah, it had a lot of modes, but it's like, I felt like the game wasn't as fun. I felt like I was dying a lot more in Ultra as well. Also, the trophy list, in my opinion, isn't quite as good as that of Delta, so. Ultra was honestly kind of a disappointment, if I'm going to be honest. I hate to say it, but I like Delta much more. Ultra is not really my thing, but I don't know. Then I have all of the stuff that I got in the random lot video that I did, um, which I guess I'm plugging everything at this point. Did a random lot, so I'm going to just go through these rapid fire. Got Rhyme on Nintendo Switch. Um, Saw, on Play Saw on PlayStation 3. Outer Worlds on PS4. Freaky Flyers on PS2. Um, Metal Slug Anthology on Wii. And then finally, Tom Clancy's The Sum of All Fears on GameCube. If you guys want to see these more in depth, I did a video. So you watch that. Now, the rest of the stuff is actually physical, thank God. So, the next game I got, this is like, I guess, I think it was a, like, I might, I need to play more of this. But it is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire for PlayStation 5. So, I, I played a little bit of this and it was alright. I want to play more of this to get more trophies and stuff like that. But I know the game doesn't have a platinum, which is really lame. I don't know why, but... I, and I bought this on eBay, so I didn't really pay a lot of money for it. Um, but, you know, PS5 came to add to the collection. And I don't buy PS5 games often anyways. Then, speaking of before, when I was talking about how my Vita, I finally started to get that thing going and get more games for it. I finally got some physical games. The first one being Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified. Um... I want to play this game at some point, and the same thing can also go for Little Big Planet as well on Vita. I want to play both these games at some point. Um, I have them on the Vita, I've like downloaded, but I just need to get them working because the Vita. I don't think the cartridge slot is the best, but who knows? I'm I'm gonna try and play these games at some point, um, especially Little Big Planet. I definitely want to play that and play more games in that series. All right. <laughs> It's time to show you guys the absolute garbage I got. I've got, the rest of this video is Wii games and bad ones at that. So let's get right into this. So <laughs> we've got SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoon Sklobs of Doom, not a good game. The co-op in this game is absolutely terrible because the camera barely works. The, the, don't, the, <laughs> New game for 2009. Yeah, this is not a game I would be, like, celebrating on any means. As I can pull these up. I got Wreck-It Ralph for Wii, which is also bad. This is basically the same as the 3DS version, which I actually had for the longest time on my 3DS. And fun fact, this game sucks. It's awful. It's boring. It's... Ugh. Ugh. Getting that away from me. But I've stooped to the absolute lowest of lows. This is the part. So this is the part of the video where I get canceled. Because the stuff I bought should not be considered legal. Oh god. Let's go. Let's get canceled. 101 and 1 Party Mega Mix on Wii. This is not a good game at all. This game is absolutely garbage too. This game has. It's literally just. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just really low effort. But guess who made it? Yeah, Atlas. Atlas made this. Why? Why couldn't you be making Persona? Why'd you make that instead? Oh man. Then I got Game Party. 
Oh, this game is awful too. This one's a little bit more funny bad though, I'll be honest. This is basically like a Wii Sports knockoff. Um, and a bad one at that. But this one is at least a little entertaining to play with Jackson. And then... Eminem's Kart Racing. <laughs> oh my god, this game sucks too. This game has the worst controls ever. It looks like a PS2 game. It is just so bad. I, I, I don't want to look at it anymore. So, you might be wondering, why did I buy so many Wii games like that? Well, I'm not going to say. That's something that... I'll say this right now, you might want to tune into Jason Butthole's channel or Jackson's channel. I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Um, but yeah, that was everything I bought within the past two months. And I mean, I, I, I and to be honest, I've, I've gotten a lot more busy nowadays. I'm trying to do a lot, like I got like schoolwork and stuff like that going on and like, like actual work as well. And then I'm trying to kind of like, I'm kind of trying to make more videos as well. So thank you guys for watching the video and I will have more content on the way soon. I know there hasn't been a lot of content, like especially during like June and July, I didn't really have a lot of videos. It was honestly just because I was kind of just taking a bit of a break, but recently I've gotten a lot more back into it, especially with like the Pikmin video. Um, I really wanted to start getting some more videos out. Um, I will have a Sonic 4 video out. I'm gonna probably have that out, I believe September 22nd. So um, that, that's something that you guys can look forward to. And I also am going to have, like I said before, I'm gonna do a video on Super Stardust Delta. That's gonna come out soon. Um, not this month, but probably next month. Um, I'm gonna have some more content for you guys. And I'm gonna kind of start doing a little bit more to kind of make my channel a little bit different since I'm kind of starting to finally find a way to get like kind of brand my content a little bit more so yeah that's pretty much it for this video again thanks for watching thanks for supporting the channel i don't say it enough i really appreciate the support even if you just watched the video if you made it to this point thank you i love you don't take it the wrong way <laughs> i i th thank you it means a lot to me that you'd be sitting here watching my rambling and stuff like that and buying all these Wii games that are worth not much. Don't worry though, the next time I do a pickups video, I'm not gonna have some garbage like that, but I'm, I'm driving on. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Peace out and take care.